Okay, I'm about to do a review of our garage over here, but I gotta find, gotta get this box out of, uh, of this. Figures I'm gonna do comparisons with them with. There. Oh, you, gotta, you gotta move Starscream. This ain't your review. So. Yeah, just ignore all the trash over there. <laughs> Very, very weird intro, but hello everyone. Today, I'll be viewing the Transformers Studio Series number 71, Deluxe Class Mirage. First, taking a look at the packaging. You move the accessories out the way and Mirage. You can, I guess, get into it. So the packaging right here has image right here of Mirage right there. It says number 71. It says uh, Autobot Dino right there, or you know, whatever you want to call him, I call him Mirage from Transformers Dark and the Moon. On the side right here, you have a an image of, of Dino from Mirage. On the, on the other side, you have a close-up image on his face. On the back, you have some product shots of, just turn it to the side so you can see it, from, of him in his robot mode and vehicle mode, transformed in 27 steps. So that is it for packaging. First, for his accessories, it comes as two uh, arm blades. Or shoulder blades, whatever you want to call it. It can attach right here. Well, first, if you can... First, let me show the detail of it, at least. You see right there? Pretty nice detail. Just in a uh, black plastic. I'm actually glad it's not rubber plastic. Because usually with these, like, relatively sharp weapons, they don't... They do it in a softer, rubbery plastic. So I'm glad they did it in uh, some in uh, hard plastic. There you go. Just makes the quality of it better. Just plugs into the back right there. And then you have him with his shoulder blades right there. That's it for the accessories. Now taking a look at the detail of the figure. I think this is a really nice figure, in my opinion. I think they did a really good job. Because a lot of people were expect were, um, um, were awaiting a Dino figure. And I think they did a really good job of giving everyone what they wanted. Oh, uh, take a look at the head sculpt here. You see right there. It's a nice head sculpt. You get. I can just zoom in. Real quick. There we go. See the head sculpt right there looks really nice. See right there. Really nice head sculpt with the. With the blue, where the eyes are right there, and the, and the gum metal grayish there on the head. You got these uh, collarbone areas right there. And the chest, um, for the shoulders, is actually the front of the car right here for the shoulders, but this is supposed to be a faux chest. It doesn't really make sense, but it doesn't bother me that much. You got some, it's also really, uh, I don't know if this is uh, on purpose or not. I don't know if it's just my copy, but this is not the exact same as this. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Well, let me look at the box. What's that intention? Oh, uh, I don't think it was intentional, huh? I mean, no, I think it was intentional. I mean, sorry. I think it actually was pretty intentional, huh? huh. Doesn't really bother me. You got some coming up gray right there for the admin area. You got the legs right here, which look really nice. This hard leg is just uh, part of a car right there. Looks. <sighs> Sorry. No, I'm a bit tired. Right there. Nice job for the legs. The feet also look nice. Nice detail there. The side right there. The back. It is a pretty 
zoom out. There's a pretty significant amount of kibble there, but it doesn't really bother me that much. The arms are nice as well. Got the little, little, little metal gear right there, and the hands look good as well. So, it's a pretty good figure. You can see there. Now for some size comparisons. Here he is next to get that no get get on there and get the sword on. He's next to a side swipe. Here he is next to me. Next to a uh, top spin. Kind of forgot his name there. Here he is next to Sentinel Prime. Sound wave. Here he is next to Spider Man. Go. Here he is next to your boy Jazz. And of course, so that I'm trying to make it zoom out, but it won't. I can't get the zoom out for some reason. And there it is next to uh, Masterpiece Jazz. Oh, shit. That is it for... Is anything broken? Nope, just some paint chipping. <sighs> that is it for... The size comparisons. Now for transformation. First, what we want to do is, of course, move these things. Right here. Then you want to, right here... These things just fold out right there. Now from the side of the car. Oh, something else I wanted to point out. Uh, the one issue I actually have with this rig is just clear plastic. Because, as you know, I always hate it when, when uh, Hasbro makes the whole back of their figures. The whole back side like this right here. Clear plastic. Because I forgot who... Uh, did it with this jazz figure. I may have talked about it in his review. And if you haven't checked out his review, you can go check it out on my channel if you if you want. Uh, yeah, I don't. I'm not really too fond of clear plastic when there's a lot of it, especially on the back of this one because there is a lot on the back of this guy. I wish they just like had this black instead of clear. Not paint it black, but like have like this red all thing red and just paint that black or just have that whole thing black and paint red over it because that would have been a lot better untab this right here and pull that head in like so and then you want to take this out see that what i'm talking about all the clear plastic because this can break easily just like when i saw uh i forgot which reviewer it was maybe lazy eyebrow or bolt matrix I'm not sure who it was. I think it was Lazy Eyebrow, maybe. But yeah, the. Mm. I just don't like clear plastic like that, so. 
you want to rotate this around like so. Then, I don't like that noise. Then you want to rotate this like this. And push it in like so. And then rotate the hand to where the tab is facing up. up or, or facing this hand right there. Do the same thing on that side. I'm going to rotate it the wrong way. And then right now you want to take these accessories, which I like the weapon stored on this. They plug in under here. Make sure the tabs are actually facing out and not facing away from each other and not together. Because then it won't transform properly as I uh, figured out the first on Wednesday. Not Wednesday, on Saturday. Last Saturday. When I bought this guy, you guys saw the toy hunt. I, I bought two figures from that. I bought this one. And the Starscream. Oh, shit. And the Starscream. So, that review will be coming after this one. Next Saturday. Now back to the figure that we're talking about. Then you want to take the head and just... Well, first, uh, take these legs, take push that out right there, rotate this around, put the foot down, looks like that, do the same thing on the side, like so, and then you want to take this, this is going to go right there, and then you want to move, hinge this up, and the head will go in between there like so rotate this around then you want to take the arms oh shit these down there's a uh, this tab that will go into that slot right there this tab goes in that slot if you didn't see it the first time and well first this will tab into there and then try to get this tabbed in really work the best I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side that keeps falling out and then tab those together and then you want to take the legs shit up into here and then you want to take this this down and then these two tabs will go into these slots So, and then let me get these right, and then this hole will go into that this tiny, tiny peg. Like so, and then I'm gonna get this. It tabs in multiple places here. This this little thing will hook up into this. This we're going to tab that's under here and then this or just tab in this little section so we'll just go do that real quick like so same thing on the side put that in and right there and there you have mirage in the vehicle mode <sighs> my dumbass forgot to talk about the articulation so i'm gonna do that right now <sighs> the head can look up that far, can look down about that far, arm can move out, and also hinge up and down to the transformation. Uh, rotation right here at the arm. Let me just remove these so we can get a better look at it. So I can do it better. And right here, it can't rotate this way actually, which is a shame due to this thing blocking it. It does have a double bend at the elbow. See right there. It also has a wrist rotation due to transformation, which is nice. Leg can kick up that far, can kick back that far. Has a 90 degree bend at the knee. And foot can move up and, I mean, forward and not back. So that is it for 
the articulation. Now, let's go back to the vehicle mode. Now, for the size comparisons for the vehicle mode, here it is next to Bumblebee. Here he is next to Top Spin. Let me just fix that real quick. And here he is next to Spider Man. And why not? Here is next to a Han Solo brickhead. And of course, here is next to the Masterpiece Jazz. That is it for the size comparisons. Now, for the view come out, you should get one thing out of the way. It doesn't really roll that well. It doesn't really at all. Uh, yeah, I just want to get that out of the way. Also, the bottom. Yeah. Not too bad. I don't really care about the bottom of view come out, but I can zoom in a bit here. See, the view come out. It's really nice. I actually like this. They couldn't get the Ferrari license, which is a shame, but they got it as close to it as possible. And definitely on camera, you can definitely see that this red does not match this red or this red at all. But it doesn't, or this red actually, does it? No, it doesn't actually match that red either. So it's different shades of red here. Doesn't really match that at all. Doesn't really, oh, doesn't really bother me. You can't really see it off camera. So, yeah. It's like some of those things, like in certain lights, in certain lighting, you can see it on. Yeah. When there's a bunch of lights around, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, it's like that thing when in certain in certain lighting, you can see the different colors in it. But the front right here is nice. No Ferrari logo, of course. Got the uh, front grill right here. There's some headlights right there on the side. The wheels. Right there with silver with black on it. Also on that side and the two other sides. You have part of the foot sticking out of the side, which is actually annoying, but I I can get I can live with it. Got a door handle right there with some more exhaust, not exhaust, uh ventilation, I guess. You do see all the kibble in there, which is why I don't really know why they keep using clear plastic when they could just have this black right there. And then there won't be a risk of breaking it when you're transforming it. Or if you drop it. Or if you somehow end up falling onto it like my dumbass did. <laughs> See right there? You got some... Right there. You do have some tabs. Top right here, that's for transformation. There also is an opening right here. See? Just actually annoying. But I can live with it. You got some exhaust right there. Some black right there. And some... Not with grills, not and some grills right there as well. And I think these are supposed to represent tail lights, and this is supposed to represent a license plate. So, raw, it's a really nice vehicle. Mode. The only downside is that it just I me. Mean, the only downside is that it just can't roll, and these things are sticking out. That's the only thing. Oh. So, Mike is getting back into his vehicle mode, not vehicle mode, he's getting back into his robot mode, and give him a score. And that is it for Rod's review. See here? Uh, my total score for this figure is a uh, solid 9 out of 10. The only issue that I just don't like is just the clear plastic. I wish I was going to stop doing that. But anyway, this review, this re I have to finish this review at 6 o'clock and it's 5.18 the record but as i'm recording this right now so yeah so anyway i see you next week maybe i'm not sure bye